Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Oh, thanks. All right, Araceli, before we start the class, let me tell you about the, the question you asked on the group because you already finished the platform, right? Yes. So you yes. already finished that. So I asked to someone from the human resources, they said that you can click on the on the blue button you saw there, uh -huh. that, it, that it, if you click there, you will get the certificate as uh, when the when the people who is in charge of that get them uh, updated. So at the moment it's mm -hmm. not available yet because we haven't finished the, the module, but um, if you click there, you will be like uh, on a list that as soon as that person updates the certificates, you will get it automatically, all right? Oh. Yes, mm -hmm. of course, but uh, that is why I say um, I was I was asking if I could do it right now, but um, because I suppose that it is not prudent to do it because we haven't finished all the classes. Yeah, but but at the moment, if you click on there, there's no problems because you will uh, you will receive it. You will go to a list automatically. The platform will do it. So. Because you already finished, click on that button and the platform automatically will get you to a list. And then as soon as the person that is in charge of that uh, get the certificates, it will go automatically to you. Oh, that's nice. That's All nice. right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, I was going to ask who was the person who asked me last time about vocabulary? Basilia, teacher me. All right. So I already have some vocabulary for you. Uh, I don't because you told me that you wanted to get like vocabulary that we use in daily basis, like like conversation and things like that, right? All yes. right. So I got some vocabulary for you, but I couldn't find your phone number on the group. So Aww. if you text me directly so I can send you the vocabulary or if someone else from the group wants that vocabulary so you can text me directly or I can send all the vocabulary through the group. It's up to you. But in this case, teacher, uh, you can say the part, um, como, um, Una conversación con dos personas? Yes, the vocabulary I got for you, it is like questions, common questions to ask when you want to know something. Like if you go to the hospital, if you go to the supermarket, or if you go to any of those places, that's the vocabulary I got for you. Because I know that most of the times it is kind of difficult to try to create questions or something like that, but I already got it for you, okay? So if everyone okay. of the group wants that vocabulary as well, you can text me directly or uh, it, it is up to you if you want me to send the vocabulary directly to the group, okay? So um, uh, I see that we are 15 right now. So welcome guys, one more time to this class. We're going to start a new week and with a big attitude, right? How was your weekend, by the way? Was it good? It was so busy because uh, one of my goals was to finish the, the platforms, but thanks God I did it. Thank you so much for your commitment, Araceli, and I want to, uh, to get everybody else um, to follow the same example as Araceli, because uh, I don't know yes. if you if you got the message today that we received from Elena, 
if you notice that she was telling you that she wants you to keep on working on that because you got you you have to have at least 80 percent for you to be part of the next module or to continue within this program okay so the ones that are already working thank you so much for your commitment the ones that are already finished it thank you thank you so much and congratulations for that because i am checking that i am checking the platform so i know who is working and who is not so thank you so much guys and also for attending to the class okay that that is something very important so we're going to start the class right now and i want to see what do you remember about last class we saw health problems right so um let yeah. me point let me point someone let me see we are 16 right now let me ask uh, erica quintanilla there were two questions that you can ask to someone in order to keep the conversation with them. What are those two questions? Do you remember them? Erica, are you there? But I think she's not there actually. All right, so let me let me pick someone else. Let me see. Um, let me see. Liliana Melendez. Thank you. Do you remember those two questions? Yes. How do you feel? And what's the matter? That's right. Thank you. So um, let me see. Katia Monterrosa, can you tell me two, at least two diseases or illness that you remember that we saw? Yes, I have a stomachache mm -hmm. and I, I have a headache. Headache, okay, very good, very, very good. All right, uh, Eunice Ramirez. Do you remember the three questions that we had that we asked at the beginning of a conversation? Good evening, Jeff. The three mm -hmm. questions are how do you feel? How do mm -hmm. you feel? How do you feel? And is everything okay? All right, very good. I, I see that you have been studying though. That's good. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. Uh, with that being said, I'm telling you or I'm asking you those questions because today we have to practice as much as we can about health problems. So we're going to see some differences, but today is going to be more practice. What does that mean? That today I will make you speak a little bit more I will make you speak a little bit more and you will practice a little bit more, okay? So uh, to start with that, let me share um, part of the presentation we saw last time so we can finish that. So let me see. All right. These are some health problems. Erika Quintanilla, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Sometimes the internet is not working that well, but it's okay. As long as you are here paying attention to the class, that's okay, okay? No problem. So last time we had some problems in pronunciation with these words. So let me see if you have studied so I can try to figure it out if you remember. So, Christy Munoz, thank you so much. Can you read all of them, please, so I can verify if you have studied the pronunciation? This is for us. <laughs> okay, let me try. Uh, diarrhea. 
the second one I'm not sure. Irish, mm -hmm. Irish, fever, flu, headache, heartburn, nervous, um, rush, mm -hmm. sore throat, stomach. All right, all right. Thank you. Let me see who else. All right, Joaquin Ramirez, can you help me, sir? Oh, you were eating, I'm sorry. Okay, teacher. Um, diarrhea, mm -hmm. earache, fever, mm -hmm. flu, headache, heartburn, mass measle. Okay. Uh huh. Throat, throat, mm -hmm. stomach ache. All right, all right, thank you. So as you can see here, guys, I added, I added something, something new. As you can see here, uh, besides the word headache, I add between parentheses another word that it's migraine, migraine, migraine. That that means migraña, okay? Headache and migraine, all right. So let me ask someone else because you're supposed to know the pronunciation of all those words because we already sold them. So Katia Monterrosa, thank you. Okay, diarrhea, mm -hmm. eating, mm -hmm. flu, okay, headache, okay, harbor. Miso, mm -hmm. rash, sore throat, mm -hmm. stomach. Okay, okay, let me see. We're going there. Reinaldo, are you here? Yes, right. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah. Good, Go ahead, good evening. Okay. Good. Diarrhea, mm -hmm. heatish, fever, mm -hmm. flu, headache, herbal, miso, mm -hmm. rash. Mm -hmm. Sort of stomachache. Okay, Stephanie Ramirez, can you please help me? Yes, diarrhea, mm -hmm. earache, fever, mm -hmm. flu, mm -hmm. headache, mm -hmm. heartburn, measles, rash, sore throat, stomach, stomach, nice. I don't know how to pronounce. Stomachache. Stomachache. Stomach Stomach All right. Stomachache. Thank you. Okay. Anayansi Orellana. Diarrhea, erect, fever, flu, headache, heartburn, measles, rash, sore throat, stomachache. All right. Karen Melendez, then goes Elizabeth, then goes Claudia Rivas. Then Jenny and then Charlie, okay? Go. Diarrhea, earache, mm -hmm. fever, flu, headache, heartburn, measles, mm -hmm. rash, sore through, stomachache. Next one. Uh, diarrhea, mm -hmm. headache, fever, flu, headache. Purple, mm -hmm. metal, fresh, sertral, stomachache. Okay, next one. Me, teacher. Go. Diarrhea, irritation, fever, flu, headache, heartburn, measles, fresh, sertral, stomachache. Okay, thank you. Next one. Me teacher. Go ahead. Diarrhea, irek, fever, flu, headache, heartburn, measles, crash, sore throat, stomachache. Okay, next one. I think Charlie's the next one. Charlie, are you there? Sarah. Hello, sir. No, he's not there, apparently. Okay, guys. 
I still hear some problems on pronunciating some words. For example, the word corazón by itself, la palabra corazón por ella misma. Heart is not heard. Heart born. Heart born. The next one that I hear some problems. Les dije, I told you last time that the letter TH, what's the sound that the letter TH made? Zeta. Zeta, like in Spanish, right? So we say throat, sore throat, sore throat. We do not say throat. I keep on hearing some people saying throat. Remember, if you see TH, most of the time it's going to sound like throat, like como se in Spanish, okay? Throat. And now you have to add, you need to agregar to your vocabulary, migraine. 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 Migraña, all right? Migraine. All right. So, with that being said, let's go to some. Differences. Here, uh, I was going to tell you the difference between the word sick and the word ill. Because as you probably know, both of them mean enfermo, right? If you say, I'm sick, estoy enfermo. I'm ill, I'm estoy enfermo as well. So what's the difference between they both? So let's go with the first one. It says, uh, let's see, let me get someone for you. So you can get to practice. Okay, Sandra Araceli, can you help me reading what sick, sick means, please? Okay. Yes, sick is less formal than ill and usually describes short term ailments or diseases like mm -hmm. a cold or cough. Mm -hmm. Sick can also refer to feeling nauseous. Nauseous. Nauseous, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Nauseous. In British English, to be sick can mean to vomit. To vomit. Okay, what does that mean? Most of the time, as the meaning says, we are going to use the word sick when we're talking about diseases that are not, enfermedades that are not that big. I know that all diseases are big at a certain point, but when I said not that big, I'm referring to the, to the fact like a cold, cough, or flu, yes? Resfriados, tos, o gripe. Some of them that are not that big, yes? That's the meaning of the word sick, or that's the usage that we have to use or to give to this word sick. Let's see what happened with the word ill. Eunice Ramirez, can you help me reading what ill means? Okay, ill is often for more serious health problems like cancer or I can't pronounce the Or pneumonia. Pneumonia, but mm -hmm. can also be used for short term one. All right, so we, we do not say heal, we say ill, ill and sick, yeah. ill and sick. All right, as the meaning says, we are going to use the word ill to talk about serious health problems, such as cancer, such as HBI, such as pneumonia as the word it says there, but this one, it can also be used for short term ones. Probably you can use it someday as the short term ones, but most of the time the word ill is going to be used for the serious or those big problems that you probably have had, okay? So now, Let's go and see what's the difference between the word ache and pain. 
ache or age and pain. So let's start with the first one. Let me see uh, someone. Mm. Stephanie Ramirez, help me read in the meaning of that, please. Yes. Ache is a continuous or problem due pain in a part of the body. Mm -hmm. It can often be a, a throbbing sensation that mm -hmm. covers more than one point. Mm -hmm. You can sometimes try in uh, ignore Mm -hmm. and, and ache. All right, thank you so much. What does that mean? That, for example, the word ache is going to be used when you have a continuous pain, a continuous or prolonged, prolonged pain in certain point of your body. For example, if I have a uh, kind of pain on my ear, what's the, what's the health problem that I'm going to say, Reinaldo? If I have pain on my ear, what is that? Reinaldo? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what, what that means. Uh, in Spanish, um, chronico, I don't know. No, 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 no. Uh, it, who said that? I heard someone say that. that. Yeah. Irish. Irish. Okay. Uh, Irish. Yes. Because I ask you if I have pain on my ear, what's the health problem? The health problem is earache. 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 Yes. The one, the same one that we saw here. Look at this. Number two, that's a problem. Number two, diarrhea and then go earache. That's the problem. Pain on your ear. All right. So, ache, la vamos a usar para dolores que son continuos y que son prolongados en cierto tiempo. Por ejemplo, one day, the most two days. And que están enfocados en ciertas partes de tu cuerpo. That's when we are going to use ache. Yes? And when are we going to use pain? Anayansi Orellana, can you please help me reading the meaning, please? Still there? Okay, pain? Mm -hmm. Is physical suffering or this this discomfort caused mm -hmm. by illness or injury? Mm -hmm. It is usually a sharp sensation in a specific part of the body mm -hmm. and hurts more than an ache. All right, thank you so much. So as it says, a physical suffering or discomfort caused by illness or injury. It usually, it's usually a sharp sensation in a specific part of your body and it hurts more than an ache. What does that mean? That for example, you're going to use pain when, when there's something that hurts really much on your body and you cannot, uh, cannot stop it. For example, um, like, if we have dolor de, dolor de oídos, I think that most of the time, well, podemos tener dolor de oídos, but, but we still calm. Todavía no sentimos calmados, vea. Sentimos el dolorcito ahí, pero oh, todavía lo soportamos. But what happened with the pain? Con la palabra pain. That's a suffering. Por eso dice que es una sharp sensation. What does that mean? Sharp sensation is mean una sensación penetrante, no? Como una sensación fuerte that you cannot, uh, que tienes, sometimes you, you're going to scream. Algunas veces para usar la palabra pain es un dolor 
que no lo podemos soportar, ¿ok? So it's, it hurts more than an ache. That's the only difference we have over here, ¿ok? So, any questions so far? Everything is clear, teacher. Thank you. Perfect. All right. Let me see. Uh, Katia Monterrosa, let me ask you. What's the what's the name of the health problem that you can feel it in your head, but you, you when you have that problem, you like to be in a dark place because you cannot see the light, because you feel that is really uncomfortable. What's the name of that health problem? Do you understand what I said? It is migraine, 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 because when you have migraine, you cannot see the light because you see or, or you feel that the light is giving you a lot of pain in your in this part of your head. So, as you know, a migraine, it is not the same that a headache, right? Or do you think that a headache is the same as a migraine? No, all right, no, all right. A migraine is something like more serious situation. All right, so. If there is no question at this moment, so it is the moment for you to practice. I needed to take a photo, a photo of this, if you can see, it, or if you have it on your phone, or if you're going to take notes, tell me. Who is going to take notes? If you're going to take notes, say yes. If you're going to take a scream, do not say anything. <laughs> Screenshot? Yes. All right. Because I need you all to have this information. Last time, some of you didn't have the, the, the sentence. Algunos de ustedes no tenían las oraciones y no pudieron trabajar en todas because they didn't have them. So please now take a photo of that. Or if you're going to take notes, do it right now. I will give you time. But is someone of you going to take notes or you already took the, the screenshot? Ya tomaron el screenshot? Do you have the photo already? Yes. yes. I have All a right. Yes. All right. Perfect. So let me explain you right now. So what I'm going to do. We are going to, thank you, Elizabeth. I saw that you sent the message on the group on WhatsApp. Thank you. All right, so we are going to create groups. The same group that you have right now, it is the same one that you will be working with. Yes, el mismo grupo que se crea ahorita, aunque no estemos en un breakout room, siempre van a estar trabajando los mismos. Now we're going to go at this moment. No vamos a ir a los breakout rooms to work in this. But when we came back to this same session, you will still be working with the same group you already had, okay? Con el mismo grupo, yes? If some of you, alguno de ustedes, tiene una oración incorrect, alguno de su grupo me va a tener que formar one sentence following the structure I gave you last class, okay? That will be the, the punishment. Ese va a ser el castigo, all right? So you better work, guys. You better work. Okay, so let me, let me stop sharing the, the screen. So we're going to go to the breakout rooms. Let me see. We are 20 at this moment. 20... We're five. So it's going to be four, 
course, yes. It's gonna be four breakout rooms with four people each. So you can go now. Erika Quintanilla, if you can join your group, please. All right, Charlie. Or, see. Erika Quintanilla. Good, good evening, teacher. Can you go to your no, group? No, no, no tengo la opción para unirme al grupo. Okay, that's kind of weird. Let's see. Yeah, because at this moment. I'm a silent teacher. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to try to move you to another room. Do you have it now? Ya había entrado, pero me volvió a sacar. Are you able to, to go now or not? No? No. All right, let me go ahead and move you to another room. Let me see. Uh, okay. All right. Can you tell me examples? You will only have seven, six minutes the most to complete all the sentences, okay? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, can you tell me exactly? Okay. What? Oh, okay. For what? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pero la de ir. They can also refer to feeling. You will have six minutes to complete the sentences. Solo una llevamos. Teacher, in that one, we only, we're going to use the four words. Sick, ill, age, and pain. I'm and sorry? We're going to use. In this exercise? No, in this one, you will use the, the health problems. Every, ah, okay. every single sentence, it will give you like an idea of what health uh -huh. problem they are talking about. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. Entonces sería. No eran estos los que estamos poniendo. Ajá, sería lo de dolor de estómago. Okay, guys, you will have six minutes the most to complete the sentences, okay? I don't see anyone talking here. We are thinking. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> we think the answer is the number four. All right, cool. It was six. 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 Okay, you will have six minutes the most to complete the sentences, okay? Oh. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Uh, it's 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 question. Eh, por, podría ser 
the mother. The mother. What's the mother? Can you tell tell me exactly? All right. The mother. So, the mother. Are you having problems with the to trying to for, to understand? In four, uh, I seen. Uh, oh, we seen. Uh, maybe six. All right, so let me tell you that in these exercises, what you're going to do is to use the health problems that we have been seeing through uh, through this last class in this one. In exercise number one, you're going to use only health problems. All right, so we're just going to wait for the other ones to join. Okay, guys, I hope everybody worked on the exercises and you have to remember who you were working with. Because as I told you at the very beginning, that is the same group you're going to be working with during the next exercises we're going to have. So since we have, um, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, we have four, um, four, four sentences over there. Let me share the screen with you one more time. So we have four exercises here, right? So uh, let's see the group that goes with Katia Monterrosa. You already know who your group is. So you're going to be the first one with the first sentence, someone else from your group will be number two, and so on and so on, okay? So let's start with you, Katya, with, with your group. Tell me who your group is. Do you remember the names? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Ivas, Reinaldo. And... Claudia. And, and All right. Okay. Very good. So that means Katya, you will get one, Reinaldo number two, Anayansi number three, and the other one that I put in here the name, so number four. All right, okay. so go ahead. 
the children had diarrhea on holiday. It mm -hmm. must have been the food at the hotel. All right, that is correct. So let's see what you have, Reynaldo. Uh, she, she gets uh, my, my, I'm sorry, my grind, mm -hmm. arterial headache, flashing, lights, and nausea. Mm -hmm. She has to lie down in a darkened room. All right, that is correct. So the next one. I can't eat nuts. I have an allergy to them. Very good, excellent. So last one. Hello? Claudia. Hello, Biden. Now can you tell me exactly who would do? Can you repeat that one more time? Hello, my dear. Mm -hmm. Now, can you tell me exactly who will you? Okay, I'm so sorry for the group number one, but this is not correct. So, what's the Isn't answer? The All right, we will find out the answer later on, but. Vayan preparando su oración, ¿verdad? Each one of you. The group number one, pre preparing the, the sentence, okay? I will ask you later on. Okay, the group with Mr. Joaquin, the group that goes with Mr. Joaquin. Okay, teacher. Who is your group? Do you remember someone? Uh, Kayla Lopez, Jenny Quijada, and Mai. Okay, so you will get number two, uh, the other girl number three, and the last one, number four. Number one, no, you get okay. number two, okay? Go ahead. Number one, the no. children have... Number two. Number two. Mm. The... No, you know what? Let me see if you got correct number four. Tell me number four. Okay. She, she gets... Um, I don't remember the, the, the words um, in this case. But it's, okay. it's okay. Tell me. I just need the, the last one. The last one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, Mr. Bean. Now, can you tell me exactly your um, exactly your sick? With okay. You? Okay. Let me tell you that the group that Mr. Joaquin goes with that is not correct. So each one of you create a sentence right now. Okay, start to create a sentence. The group that goes with Sandra Araceli. Yes, sir. Okay, who are the ones that goes with you? Uh, was uh, Basilia and Herling. Basilian and Herlin, okay. Tell me the answer of number four. Let me see if you got it correct. Okay, hello, Mr. Benz. Now can you tell me exactly what's the matter with you? What's the matter, okay. Okay, we will leave it there. I will tell you later if it was correct or not. Oh my let me God. get. <laughs> okay, let me see. Thank you. You're welcome. So Karen Melendez, the group that goes with you. So uh, tell me the names. Eunice. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> can you the other ones can can say hi? I'm going with her. Hi. Uh, I'm going with her. 
Okay, who else? Eunice, Stephanie, who else? Ashley. Ashley? No, it's Charlie. Oh, Charlie, Charlie okay. All right, so Charlie. So Karen, tell me the answer for number four. So let's see if your group did it correct. Okay, hello, Mr. Beans. Now, can you tell me what exactly was wrong with you? All right, I will tell you later on if it was correct or not. Thank you so much for participating. So Erica, did your group already participate? Liliana, Elizabeth, y las otras dos no recuerdo. Okay. Maybe me. <laughs> Elizabeth, Liliana. Me, I guess. Okay. So, let me see. Christy. Christy, do you go in that group? Yes. Christy, okay. So Christy, let me ask you, tell me the set, the answer of question or sentence number four. Okay, um, hello, Mr. B Mr. Beans. Now, can you tell me exactly how to make the symptoms with you? Okay, thank you. So, <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much for participating. Let me tell you that I think that we just have four groups. Solo teníamos cuatro grupos and they already participated. So the group that goes with Araceli, great, correct. You don't have to give me sentences, very good. The group that goes with Karen Melendez, great. You don't have to give me sentences. And I'm sorry, Christy, but your group will have to give me a sentence, okay? <laughs> what was the correct answer? I'm sorry. All right, the answer was, hello, Mr. <laughs> Vince. Now, can you tell me exactly what's wrong or what's the matter with you? Both of them, what's wrong or what's the matter? That was the answer. So, what do you have to do? If you already have the answer, si ya tienen la, la oración, cada uno de los grupos que fallaron, at the end of the class, you have to start, tienen que empezar a enviarlas through the WhatsApp group, okay? So, I will check by one by one. I have one. a question. Go ahead. I'm sorry. It will be a, a, a sentence like this, examples? No, it will be a sentence following the structures that we saw last class. Oraciones utilizando las estructuras que vimos en la clase pasada. ¿Cuántas serían, teacher? It will be one, just one. Una por cada uno. One each. Okay, so... Thank you so much for participating, guys. And here we have a crosswords. Crosswords. All right. So with the same groups that you already participated, the group of Karen, Karen Melendez, your group. So I remember that it was Eunice, right? And Stephanie, Charlie, and you, right? Yes. Okay. So can you, let me see, Eunice Ramirez, that you are on the group of uh, Karen Melendez. The number one across, it will be for your group. Can you tell me what is the answer of that? Number one, I will give you a clue. It's a verb. Any of your group, cualquiera de su grupo can answer if you know the answer. Become unconscious. Become unconscious. Does any of your group know the answer? Yes. 
faint. Who said that? Karen. Oh, Karen. Okay. That's very good. That's faint. Very, very good. Faint. We have there faint. Let me see. I can I cannot do the, the words that clear, but but it's like that. Faint. What does that mean, Karen? Do you know the meaning? Desmayo. Desmayarse. Uh -huh. oh, desmayo. Okay. So the group of Araceli. Oh. No, number one down. Oh, number one down. Let's see, high temperature. Oh, I know. Sick. Fever. Who Fever. said that? Fever. Correct. Fever. We have fever, high temperature, temperatura alta, fever. Okay. Oh, the group of Joaquin, number two, across. Anyone from your group can participate. Uh, three. Three? Who said that? Uh, number three. Mm. No, number two, painful. Ah, let me give let me give you a clue. A clue. It is something related with the throat. No, that is. Anyone? No, no, I no. no. What do you say, Claudia? Um, para mí era oh. no, pero, pero este, no, quiero ver, no. Something related with your throat. Ajá. Uh -huh. so, Any idea? Sore. Sore, correct. We have sore. Sore. Okay. The group of Katia, number three. Down. Illness of nose or throat. Any idea? <clears throat> Who said that? Me or Sally? Yeah, cold. 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 Yes. Number number four. Let me see. Karen Melendez, number four. Dental pain. Oh. <laughs> It is Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday. 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 Yeah. Number, let me see. Number five, Reinaldo. Number five. Explain your head, uh, headache. Let me see. Headache. Headache. Yes. headache. Very good. <laughs> Erling Lainez. Erling number six. Erlin Laines or Jenny Gloribel. Doctor, teacher. Who prescribes medical treatment? Doctor. Correct. Gloribel. Next good. one. What's the next one? Number seven. 
Number seven, who looks after ill or injured people? Let me give you a clue. Someone who helps a doctor. Does someone have any idea who can help her? Nurse. 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 Nurse, correct. What does that mean? Nurse. Enfermera. 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 Correct. Nurse. Let's see. Number eight, Stephanie. Eight. Oh, uh, probably this one, probably this one, you don't know what that is. Does anyone know how do we say calambre in, uh, in English? I will help you with this one. So uh, Stephanie, you will get with the uh, number nine. Does anyone know how do we say calambre? No? Electric shock. Electric shock, uh-huh. Not exactly. Mm -hmm. I don't know really. Cramps. 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 Exactly. Cramps. Yes. Uh -huh. Cramps, cramp. Okay, number number nine, Stephanie. Suffering. We saw that word on a meaning of some word. If you are suffering that much, what what is that? Pain. Pain. Very good. Pain. Joaquin, the next one. Number? Or 10. ten. Um. Surgery. <clears throat> It says, doctor who performs operation. Tumors. Injure, no. No. Any idea? Physician. Surgeon. 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 Surgeon, okay. The surgeon. The cirujana, surgeon, okay. So, and the last one goes for Elizabeth, the Amaya, last one. Number 10, down. Elizabeth, the Amaya, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Mm. Can someone help her? Anyone sneeze, sneeze. Oh. correct sneeze. What that what is that? Uh, Extornudo. Exactly. Sneeze. Sneeze. All right. So I can see here that most of you already know um some words that you have been practicing about the 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 health problems. So we will finish with this last exercise. We will finish with this. And I am going to ask one of you of the groups that you already know, so you can help me with that. So let me ask first, Karen Melendez, number one. Hold. I'm sorry, I, I cannot hear that well. Hold. Hold. Number number two, next one, Araceli. Okay, let me see, please. Number two, and then my frequent coffee. Ah, that's the uh, coffee. What's that? 
C O U G H. Cough. Yeah, cough. Cough. Number three, Charlie. Charlie. I think Charlie's not there. I have never heard him participating or something. Okay, no Charlie there. Okay, um, Katia Monterrosa, number number three. Sword throw. Sword throw. Very good. Reinaldo, number four. Number four, headache. Headache. You keep on saying headache. Headache, okay? Headache, headache, I'm sorry. Jenny Glorivel, number five. Colic. Colic, very good. Eunice, next one. Is the number six, no? Number six. Fever. Fever, okay. Number number seven. Um, let me see. Joaquin. Eric. Very good. Basilia, next one. The top top catch. I don't know. Number seven, number number eight. I'm sorry. Number eight. Ah, it number says nine. discomfort on the region of the back. What's ah, that? It is the bad back 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 cake. Cake. Back cake. Back. Okay. Uh, let me see who else. Uh, Anna Yancy, next one, number nine. And then Elizabeth de Amaya, the last one. It's toothache. 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 Okay. Last one, Elizabeth. Stomachache. Stomachache. Okay. So the ones that participate in, in this part, I need you to now read the meaning of each one. A la que le tocó número uno, please read the, the meaning of that. Go ahead. Call a, a respiratory disorder characterized by sneezing, sore throat, cough, etc. All right. A respiratory disorder characterized by sneezing, sore throat, coughing, etc. Thank you. Number two. It's me. Go ahead. Uh, number two is cough, an Ill illness characterized by frequent coughing. Very good. Number three. Sore uh, throat. I don't know how to say that. Scratchiness. Scratchiness in the throat, painful and sensitive condition. Sensitive condition, very good. Next one. A pain located in the headache. No, I think that this still was for Mr. Reynaldo, right? Yes, just a friend. Okay, go headache. ahead. Headache, a pain located in a head as over the ears. At the, the eyes or the eyes, the eyes at the temples or the base of the school. All right, a pain located in the head or over the eyes at the temples or at the base of the skull. Thank you. Number five. Colic, severe abdominal pain caused by span. Severe, severe abdominal pain caused by spam. Thank you so much. Number six. Fever, a normally high body temperature. Very good. Number seven. 
earache. Pain in the ear. Thank you. Next one. Bad catch. A pain or discomfort in the region or of the back or spine. All right. It is a pain or discomfort in the region of the back or spine. Thank you. Next one. Toothache. Pain in or about a tooth. A tooth. Okay. And the last one? Stomachache. Pain in the stomach or abdomen. Pain in the stomach or abdomen. All right. Thank you. So this one, thank you so much, guys. We won't do this one because we don't have more time right now. It's ready. 9.05. So um, I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much for coming to the class, for paying attention, for participating. And uh, the most important thing that you have been practicing the health problems. So thank you so much, guys. One more time. Do not forget to keep working on the platform and see you tomorrow by the same time okay do not forget the ones that made the mistake to send me that sentence through the group okay do not forget it all right so good night good night night i'm sorry who's what did you say christy i don't remember oh the structures? Yes, the structure. Uh, didn't you take notes last class? Um, well, what I can do right now, I can. So you can do it something very simple, like the pronoun, the verb have, and the health problem. That was the main structure. Okay. I have and the health condition, all right? So you can send me a very simple sentence like that, okay? All right, thank you so much, guys. Oh yeah, through, through WhatsApp, through the group. All right, bye-bye, guys. Take care, good night.